Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at how you can recreate sunlight using one light, one strobe. And today we have our lovely model, Josefina, who's going to be joining us and modeling for us. And today, hopefully we're going to get some really nice natural sunlight images using strobes. I'm actually going to be using this light behind me and this modifier, which is just a small reflector dish to replicate the sunlight. And then we're gonna be using some props to show you how you can kind of manipulate that light to make it look even more natural. So as I said, we're only gonna be using the one strobe today. So I'm gonna position this light up quite high and angled down. And we're gonna be really replicating how the sun is naturally. So this is why I've used a very small reflector dish to replicate that. And it's going to give a harder effect. It's going to give a much stronger light overall. So we're really gonna be replicating kind of more of a midday or late afternoon kind of hard light. And this really works well for a lot of beauty and portrait and fashion images. So it's just about using it to your advantage advantage and I feel that this is sometimes one of the best ways you can replicate it. I'm going to be setting this off to a 45 degree angle and I'm going to be getting Josephina to sit around a meter, a meter and a half away from the light just so it's not too harsh on her face. So I'll get Josephina just to sit down just in the middle here and just moving over a little bit more this way. Perfect. Might just angle this down a little bit more and raise it a little bit higher okay so I'm going to take a quick shot now and show you guys what this looks like and what kind of effect it creates so great So you can see in the images that I've just taken of Josefina that the light is hitting in a quite a hard way on her face. Uh, we're getting those really nice deep shadows on the other side of her face and it's really sculpting uh, her cheekbones even more so. So it's a really good way to get that hard natural sunlight and this also works really well for product photography as well using this kind of method and I definitely recommend using a reflector dish if you really want to replicate that harder natural light. And one other thing that I wanted to show you guys today on how to manipulate it a little bit more and to make it really even more natural looking is to actually use something like this, like a cutout. So obviously this looks terrible. It looks like a kindergartner's uh, job here, but it does work and it actually does create more of a dappled effect with the light. So if you're after that morning light that kind of has those dappled effect with, you know, leaves when the light's shining through outside, this can really help achieve that effect. So I'll show you guys how this can work. And the main thing is to hold it a little bit further away from the light and actually closer to the model to get this effect. If you're holding it too much up here, it's probably not gonna work as well, but just sort of holding it around the middle, but maybe a little bit closer to the model if possible. So if you guys have an assistant on the day or someone that can help you with this, it definitely helps. And I just have Olga, our makeup artist for the day, uh, helping me out here. But see how she's holding it just a little bit closer to Josephina's face. Hopefully this is gonna give us that dappled light look that we want. Maybe rotate it a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Gorgeous. Oh, just there.
So in those photos, you can see that it definitely gives it a slightly softer effect. It gives it more of a dappled and moody kind of effect. If you want to still replicate that natural light, but still have that moodiness, that's a really good way of doing it. Uh, it sometimes takes a bit of experimentation with moving the cutouts around to find what's really a good spot. And, and so there's not too much darkness in the eyes or in a certain part of the face. But once you get those shots, they really do stand out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do and click the notification bell to make sure you see all the videos that I have coming up in future. A big thank you to Josephina, our model today, and we will see you in the next video.